Hi guys to everyone, I'm Ada from Poison Drop and today it's a female day. I have the honor to have with me Lala from uh, Burning Witches. How are you Lala, first of all? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks. Thank you so much for the opportunity to have this interview. And yeah. hello Metalhead. <laughs> it's a pleasure <laughs> to have you with us, so it's an honor for me. Of course, um, everyone knows the story of Burning Witches. We don't have to say it again. But just briefly, because sometimes there's someone that doesn't know it. So briefly, like how Burning Witches started, and then we move on. Mm -hmm. We started around the 2016, and then we released a demo yeah. for 606 copies, and it's all sold out. And that's the time that um, I think uh, we get uh, we get known, and then. Um, yeah. We, we, we also make uh, the full length album, the very first one with the lots of great songs. Yeah. And then the, when the Hex and Hammer comes, yeah. that's the um, the time that uh, Burning Witches uh, went to a record label called Nucle Nuclear Plus. So uh, we, we get uh, more exposed in that time and then we, we played in many shows. Yeah. And then, yeah, third one is Dance with the Devil. Yeah, and, and fourth one, the Witch of the North. The and Witch now of the North. Then now it's the time yeah. for the Dark of the Tower. The, yeah, the Dark, the Dark Tower. Tower, album number five. Yeah, album number five. Oh my God! Yeah, uh, the last interview I had with, I spoke with Laura about uh, Dance with the Devil because it was 2020. So of course it was the release after that of the Witch of the North. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. uh, before getting into speak about the last album, just to make you know a little bit of uh, don't want to say comparison, but how things changed in the composition, in the working, in the writing as well of the album. So we had Dance with the Devil, and then we had Witch of the North. What has changed between mm -hmm. these two albums? There is some you know maturity in it, or you just mm -hmm. move for for another topic. There is some especially theme you told. Just leave the words to you. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, La, uh, Romana is the one who's making the song since the beginning, and then uh, she is uh, really talented. And then mm -hmm. I think uh, she is born that way that to be a musician. She has a lot of skills that it's uh, so unbelievable for me that uh, how good she is in making songs, and she have also a great ear, and she knows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she knows what is bad and what is good. And um, yeah, if you compare our uh, uh, later album than the previous yeah, ones, sure. for example, the Better for Burning Witches, yeah. we have a song called Burning Witches, and then it's only like intro, verse, chorus, and then chorus, outro, verse, something like that. And then I remember in this time the, when, when we were making The Dark Tower and I said to Romana, hey, our song is getting complicated now. <laughs> we have long intro, we have a second intro, we have a verse, we have a pre-chorus, we have a chorus, we have a bridge, we have a chorus two, we have a solo one, solo two, and so on, outro. <laughs> and I think... Uh, being in this band, you you can learn a lot, especially if you if you are do, you don't have much pressure, and then you don't know the time, you don't feel the time that the, oh come on, it's already album number five because you enjoy each other's company yeah, and course. you're having fun all the time. That's the thing, the best things of being yeah, a, I think, uh, the, as the well between all women, that... women. It's a, one of the best things between all women. Okay, it's like a sisterhood that you have inside the band in Burning which is more than just you know being banned they got to practice you became like a good friendship like sisters all together and exactly, it, you exactly. can see that this amazing feeling there is between you and the other girls it's amazing and yeah we understand each other because we're you're all female and then uh, we are together for so many so many years just just like laura the first album she made with us is uh, was uh, Dance with the Devil. Yeah. Okay. And then um, speaking of uh, uh, maturity, 
Yeah. I think uh, if you compare the Dance with the Devil and the Witch of the North and, and with Laura's voice, in Witch of the North, she 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 get out from her comfort zone, something mm -hmm. like that, because she has this full power and then this high note and low note. Yeah. She did everything to it. Yeah, and yeah. then now in in uh, the Dark Tower, the Dark Tower album, I yeah. noticed something like she had this more this uh, low tone. She yeah. can she can now have this low tone, not uh, not yeah. thin voice. Yeah, she can. But of course, she can still reach more. Yeah, because higher. she has a good. She, she has an amazing range of vocals. That's yes, what, yes, very, yes. very good uh, range of. Uh, yes, it was, she can do many things. Yeah, it was since the eighties that I didn't hear the wom woman having this amazing voice. That's why Burning Witches was like uh, uh, heavy metal. Uh, there was heavy metal, but like an old, uh, you know, old sound of heavy metal, but new as well. So mm -hmm. coming from the yeah. past, but being in the present, like looking for the future, <laughs> it's sort of amazing because you are a lot of inspiration. You're really an inspiration for a lot of young girls. Because for when I was growing up, there was Dora Page, Lita Ford, and a lot of girls growing up there as you, as a, you know, like a role model. And and as well, of course, speaking about the Dark Tower, you already released two singles. If I'm not right, if I'm if I'm right, yes, um, Unleash the Beast. Which was really the beast, as now as, and uh, the luck, the at the dark tower, the video clip. I oh my god, the video clip are amazing. Each video clip you recorded, it's something stunning. I mean, how it's the it usually you know the uh, the recording of a video clip is like a, a tale. I mean, uh, how do you feel to be in this amazing video clip? How does it feel? Yeah, it it. It we it was really fun, and yeah. then uh, uh, first of all, I really want we really want to thank the Dreamfield Factory for for doing this video. They are so professional, and they know what to do. They know to 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 emphasize the the song, uh, and then and do it in a vid in cinematic way, yeah. right? And um, yeah, it's a really great video. It's we we shoot it for uh, two days. Two the days. first one is, oh, yeah, two days. Yeah, first are the scenes. First day was the scenes, and then the second day was all the band, was the band playing, and then the, it's also it was also the first time for us to to be in an acting mode, and then but uh, it was it was really fun because uh, we're, we're drunk, <laughs> because we're so shy, we don't know what to do, <laughs> and then. Uh, but uh, uh, the later on, if one girl was uh, having a scene, we're laughing the fact, really. <laughs> we're laughing and then, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful because, come on, out there, I mean, there are amazing videos of other bands, but you girls have a touch more than other bands as well. And um, of course, just always speaking about the Dark Tower, when actually is the date of release? And where the fan can find it, in which type of format it will be released. So we make a little, a little bit of advertising of the album as well, because it's a totally important as well. I think it will be available in anywhere: iTunes, okay. Spotify, in okay. physical copies. Physical copies, of course, Napalm Records, okay. and uh, we have so many different colors of vinyl. One uh, crystal clear vinyl, which is really, really, I love. It's from Atomic Fire. That's they distributed true. it. And we also have the picture vinyl and uh, the green one from our own website. So uh, to all the collectors cool. there, if you want to collect different colors, you can That's you beautiful. Can, you can I mean, have that. That's Tarani taste for everyone taste. That's beautiful. Yeah, we have this. We have this one. This oh. uh, box was is available on Facebook Records. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. And what is that's like, what that's inside? Yeah. What is inside of that? Inside is a beanie. It's a beanie. Oh my god, and it's, so cute. it's beautiful. A CD on the whole track of the album. Wow. And then we have a small CD with the Shot in the Dark and I Wanna Be Somebody by Wasp. Wow, and then that's he has so this cool uh, colors. That's amazing. Seven, seven inch, 
seven inch shot in but the dark. For, 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 uh, it's not only for collectors, it's for everyone. I mean, I, will, I want that too for myself because that's amazing. That's a piece of art. Yeah. Come on, yeah, and it's, the beanie, it's the, 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 I mean, for, it's not only thing for the fan because it's a really like a beautiful piece. And, it, and let's say you can use the box as well to put your jewelry on if, inside if you're a woman. Exactly, it's a, it's a, so you can use it uh, in any, any, you can put, uh, what's that, garlic there if you want. <laughs> yeah, but don't, don't put your, your egg stuff, throw it in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the Dark Tower, what is the, how it started to composing, you know, the word, the white, the Dark Tower, and um, there's some, um, like, of course, it's more mature, like you were saying. There is a different, like in this world, like in the other structure of the song, like so where it's more complex. That's something that happened, like from out of nowhere, like spontaneously. Or you choose to be more like mature, like we say, we are want to do more, more complex song. How we started that? No, I think, uh, being with in Burning Witches, uh, you cannot just like um, uh, stay in a, in this way. You need you. You will learn more and more uh, in, in your experience. Wow! Uh, so in the, when in playing your instrument and making songs, I mean we learn a lot. So uh, we, you can just go up, not go down. Right? That's amazing. So that we learn a lot. So uh, the the thing in this uh, the dark tower is uh, we don't have much time actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. to make this album. But before this, uh, uh, the whole tour in last um, from last year, we already have four four uh, materials. Okay. That includes the Dark Tower, Doom to Die, and what's that again? World on Fire, World on Fire, and then we continue. I mean, Romana continue to to write the songs after the Latin America. It's the first week of October. We came back from Latin America. Oh, yeah, and then the starts first week of November. Yeah. Oh my God, you started. So you went like that, straight forward. Yes, like a rocket. <laughs> yeah, basically. Did you have some time to rest and eat at least? Not much. We don't have much rest because uh, maybe two days. That's it. But that's but the the, it's week. about time. Okay. Sorry. That's the beauty of it. It's a rock and roll. Yeah, that's rock and roll. And then uh, the the musicianship it's coming out in, in a natural way because uh, yeah, uh, as a musician, you, it's not every time Christmas, right? It, it, you, can, you have to handle the situation in a, in the stress, in, in under stress or not much time. You have to handle it. Yeah, and uh, we're happy for this all because. During this uh, recording time, everybody was so nervous. <gasps> what will happen to the album? <gasps> what will happen to the album? Everybody wants to have a heart attack. <laughs> but it turned out really well. It's an yeah, amazing song. The re uh, since the, re the single you released, the, the fan is uh, going already insane. So I can't even imagine how the album was, when the album will be released. There will be yeah. some platinum records. That's all. I mean, I mean, if we release an album, Burning Witches, if, uh, if Burning Witches will release an album, it's, it will be, it has to be something special. Yeah. We don't release an album like, okay, we make a song, that's it. <laughs> it has to be like, you put, put 120% of your effort in every song. Yeah, yeah and, and there yeah. is some song, in the, especially in the Dark Tower, for example, that you enjoy, you know, like playing, playing or composing or maybe, and there is really, you cherish, there is really dear to you. Yes, uh, I remember when Romana sent me the, the riff from Evil Witch. And then uh, I really liked it at the first. And then I told her that uh, just send to Laura right away. And I want to listen to it if, when Laura sing to it. And uh, when I listen to it, uh, after Laura sent it, okay. sent it, it Mm -hmm. I have these goosebumps. Wow! Because, uh, because it. I think that I. I will. I know that this song will be really good. And then the first thing comes in my mind is go around in the band room, 
to to experiment what kind of drums I will have to put in that song because mm -hmm. I'm so excited. That's amazing, amazing song. That's amazing because that as well shows like uh, you can are like connected with each other. You can work like with so much, a lot with so harmonious ener energies all between uh, all of you. And of course, like you said, you tour that you are one of the band that I saw touring all the time. And it's amazing because you're traveling, you're playing everywhere. You played everywhere already. There's some nice memory that you had during, you know, like uh, touring or. Um, you know, it can be some some moments spent with a girl or something that you loved about the I don't know anything. Just something really funny or uh -huh. not. I mean, just something that really stayed with you because you toured a lot. And I, I guess there are ton of moments. Yeah, there is a moment when we. It's the first uh, ever big stage we had. This that was Bang Your Head Festival, and then. And we were we were gonna have the autograph session, yeah. and then I saw the people in the queue. But it's really long; it's endless. And I asked Romana, "Who are these people?" <laughs> and then I, she said to me, "They're waiting for us." And then suddenly I cried a lot, and then mm -hmm. I have to control my my tears because. Uh, we will go to the table and then yeah, sign the autograph. But after we finish, I ran to the backstage and cry like hell. And I hug these girls that I, I told them that thank you so much for believing in me. Yeah. Because in past experience, I also have the experience that uh, somebody told me that you cannot uh, just dream on. You, that's the way it is. You cannot have a future. You cannot work like this. You cannot. You cannot have a husband. You cannot. You don't have a future. Yeah. And then, then suddenly, this I came. I came in the band. I came in this band, in this uh, really, really nice band that I'm really thankful. And then it gives me confidence that uh, and think about you're not worthless. You, you you do something that uh, make people happy. You're a part of the band that uh, making you good music. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing that I realize now that I'm not worthless. <laughs> like I, like I told you, you are my opinion. I think for a lot of people out there, one of the best drummer for me, the best drummer that I ever saw, like a, as a woman, because you are really when you play the drum. I mean, you basically are the badass drummer but as well you have your own touch your own way of playing like you really gives to a lot of women girls that wants to play drum a lot of hope i was i wanted to be a drummer but i say oh it's hard it's a man job and i was a kid so let's play another instrument but you have this amazing energy that you can see all you know between the stage it's all the eyes on you as well so really if that as if being with burning which is out with you I, but you have this light on you that i can see even at being still humble that's amazing and that's a, that's as well because i wanted to ask you how started your career i mean how you get it close to drums to music as lala so about you oh thank, thank you so much for the great great compliment <laughs> that i hear I, from you no I, I when you're young you don't know that uh, or you don't think about I want to be a musician you, you will just think about I want to play a guitar that's the that's the that's the that's the end entry point <laughs> that's the entry point so I learned how to play guitar I was in a punk band and hardcore hardcore ba band back in the day and then uh, that time I used to go to my friends rehearsal room and they're playing thrash metal and then I'm trying the drums all the time and then later on I decided I want to have the drums. So I uh, 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 teach myself self-taught uh, one, for one year and then I joined, after one year I joined a thrash metal band back in the days. Okay. Yeah. Always in Switzerland? No, in the Philippines. Yeah, in the wow. Philippines. That's amazing. Yeah. So you did it all by yourself, basically. Join a trash metal band.
Yeah, yeah. And then uh, after that, I uh, stopped for 12 years or 13 years, I guess. I went to Japan to work to support my family. Mm-hmm. And then uh, on that time, I said that I've uh, been there and done that. I will work now and then uh, try to, to help my family, to support my family. And then that time, I met my husband. <laughs> and and he, bought, he brought me to Switzerland. And then his uh, stepfather, also a dr- uh, blues drummer, let's go to school. Come on, let's go to a drum lesson. Then we went to drum lesson for uh, maybe we're, I'm there for a couple of months, two months, I guess. And then my coach uh, uh, saw the, 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 the thing in the internet that this old girl band are, are looking for a drummer to form a heavy metal band. Okay. And then uh, my coach said, come on, do this. Do this. This is this is your band. This is for you. I believe in you. And then I told him that I'm not ready yet because I was just playing drums for two months. Mm-hmm. Oh, what can I do there? Just like uh, a punk beat or what? <laughs> and then no, come on, just uh, then he encouraged me so much. So I tried. I tried mm-hmm. uh, in the rehearsal room. They were there, and then we played. That time they have already two songs, uh, Metal Demons and Creator of Hell, and then I played. And then later on they said, okay, show us what you got. Then I play only basic one. Okay, we like you. And then, beautiful. yeah, we had the meeting later on and they said that um, our uh, Shmir, Shmir of Destruction, are willing to help us and want to manage us. And I was like, <gasps> heart attack, destruction, you mean? As in, smear of destruction? <laughs> yeah, that's, he's amazing, yeah. That's, that's his history. And I, until now, I cannot believe that sometimes I'm messaging smear that yeah. to, to ask something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that it 25 years ago, <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a beautiful because as well it shows it like that's as well it's a confirmation of your talent that's as well like you're like I, uh, of the other girls as well but as a drummer there was some i mean some drummer in history of music that you felt like like to see him or her like an inspiration to look forward to like is like if there are some drummer yeah that inspired you mainly I, I think uh, Lombardo, yeah, Dave Lombardo. Because the first time I heard Out of Heaven, I really fall in love with this. How can he do that? Can I do that also? And I try, it doesn't work. <laughs> then I keep on listening. Then I I, um, I heard that Lombardo is uh, do uh, playing in the pillow if he wants to exercise. So I try it also, of course. And then, um, um, yeah, Tom Hunting of Exodus, uh, Ventor of Creator, and then um, Carcass, yeah. If, if it's not from, from this band, I will not be really interested in mm-hmm. playing because I'm just wondering, what's that? <laughs> also, Sepultura, I remember, I playing Desperate Cry. And that old school uh, drum machine that my parents gave me, this Yamaha, just like a keyboard, it had a pad, <laughs> playing desperate cry for that. And yes, I'm being really desperate and I cry <laughs> later on. <laughs> Let's speak a little bit about, uh, we can say, the technical part, because sometimes it, drummer or musician, and you know, like the expert one, are interested. There is some, like, your main drum kit how it's composed what is it like that it's like something that you need to have in your drum kit yeah i i prepared the uh playing with the double bass okay uh, i thought that it will be harder to play in that in that kind of drums because i used to play before double pedal okay yeah yeah and then uh, until randy black mr randy Black encouraged me, come on, try it, Lala. 
he will love it. So I try. I bought the two single pedal. Then it feels different. It, you have more freedom to play double really? bass, and the straight double bass is way easier that's than a, using the double pedal. Really, it's amazing because that gives you as well, like you said, more freedom. And that's amazing. <laughs> and um, if you be able, for example, to see your own influences, like uh, who influenced you, like. Since you were a kid, you know, just like in music, not only in drumming, just in music in general. It can be even, you know, like pop band. It doesn't matter. Like, like for music, in, in the musical side, what inspires you, like, to be who you are today as Lala? I think it's uh, my cousin. Really, are, is the one who who brought me to this type of music because when I was a kid, uh, around maybe about eight years old. Okay. I, I I used to listen to his thing, uh, Scorpions, Dio, uh, Led Zeppelin, <laughs> um, Rainbow. Then I'm just wondering, what the fuck is that? Is he an addict or what? Sorry, Kuya Dindo. <laughs> but you're not. You're not, but because he's, he's so weird. Why is listening to this noisy music? Until late, later on, I fell in love with this. Yeah, of I, I fell in love with it. It's so more uh, more uh, energetic until yeah. I listen to, to yeah, Guns and Roses, of course, that is my time. And then yeah. and I said that, come on, in that time, we don't have MTV, we don't have cable, we don't have internet. Yeah, exactly. So I'm really looking for a more, more... Uh, Heavy stuff, yeah. heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. Until I found this punk, and then I listened to DRI. My first CD ever is DRI, mm -hmm. and then it continues until I end up. I ended up listening to extreme metal. Extreme metal. So you have all the range, from the heavy metal yeah. to the punk, and then the trash, of course. And that's amazing. That's what I think it's. Made a musician as well, being listening everything, and uh, being yeah. in a woman in, uh, of course, in the music scene. Did you see all a difference, for example, since you started to play till today? How the women are inside the music scene? Yeah, I think it's uh, now it's totally different, and people are more uh, uh, accept the situation that uh, women can also play yeah. because back in the days. If you see a woman in the band, for example, in my era, the mid 90s and late 1990s, if you see a girl, they're, oh my God, wow, she's so cool. How can she play like that? She's a girl. Yeah. No, no, this is like a mentality that time. But uh, of course, it doesn't mean bad, but uh, they get interested to it. How can uh, uh, they get interested to that situation? How can they do that? Because we were used to all all male that play instrument, right? Exactly. exactly. And then it comes the time that uh, this band came, all female band, and then yeah, I think in the, in the people, the people uh, try to realize yeah, it's an acceptant thing, and then now it uh, doesn't matter. If you're a girl or a boy or a part of LGBT community, it doesn't matter. I uh, if exactly. you can play your instrument, show it to the world. Don't be shy. Yeah. You will not re really, really show your talent. That's amazing. That's amazing. Of course, before ending the interview and say like the current plan. So of of, uh, of uh, burning what you saw. Now it's gonna be the release of the album. Mm -hmm. you know, it will be in the end of May, which which exactly date is going to be released the album, The Dark Tower. So the Dark Tower album will be released on 5th of May and we will have yeah. our CD release on the 12th of May in oh. in the Sid Seven Platter in Switzerland. Okay. And then on the 17th we are in Germany, oh, German oh. release show. Mm -hmm. And then on the 18th, we are in Belgium, uh, East Belgium, to, to support the album of uh, The Dark Tower. Album number five, hell yeah, metal. That's, five. That's amazing. <laughs> it's like, it will be like a party, <laughs> like in these months, like a releasing party. But uh, except for this um, first live, did you have other lives in festival planned that you can say, of course, during the summer? I mean, there will be a chance. Yeah, we, uh, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've already uh, confused like Rockhearts, Wacken, yeah. uh, Moto Culture in France, and uh, Metal de Bote in Germany, then some other, and also in Mexico. Okay. Um, yeah, in this yeah, one. I will be there. I don't know why from Italy I'm going there, but I will be there. That's an amazing... In Mexico! Yeah, because there's playing Vixen uh, and Leather Leone, which is why my idol since I was a teenager. So, and then you, yeah. So we'll okay, meet see, all but... my idol in one time. Yeah, yeah. Let's meet there. Let's meet yeah, there. Yeah, I will be the insane... I will be as well at Motoculture, but then in December will be this crazy Sicilian going to Mexico. Uh-huh, okay. That's amazing. Looking yeah. forward to it. Everybody was excited about it. Yeah. And uh, of course, to go to Monsters of Rock next week. Yeah. Wow, next week. Is... We'll stay there at May, May 4. May 4, but we will for next week, yeah. So it's mm-hmm. basically all Burning Witches here. It's the fifth album yeah. and... Uh, I wish you all the best, girl, because you really deserve it. Since uh, I... I I can say myself, I spoke with you, I spoke with you, you are both so humble and so talented, all the time laughing and it's being always like that, keep saying like true to yourself like you are because you are the perfect role model for all the girls. And I wish I had role <laughs> models like you when I was a teenager, really. That's <laughs> Thank you so much. I remember my brother told me that Dream, uh, dream high, but put your feet in the ground. Yeah, yeah, always. <laughs> yeah. He, he keeps on telling that. And of course, um, um, uh, in the, it's a uh, for the shows. Uh, I want to say that we are so excited to, to play with Miss Courtney Cox of Iron Maidens. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to it. The the Monsters of Rock Cruise will be our first gig with her so everybody was so is so excited now how will be our sound with the miss courtney cox yeah that's amazing that's amazing i wish you all the best for that and it will be amazing offshore because i'm sure that we will see a lot of videos and as i love as well all your pray through because you're so as well present the social media sharing all you do with the fans that's really amazing how you're close with your fans and that's amazing. You are one of the few bands that are really keeping them, not the love for the fans, but this amazing relationship with you. You can sh- you sh- you show your own, you know, like the time you spend together with, with your fans. That's amazing. And uh, what can I say? Really, I wish you all the best. And it was a really pleasure to, to see you and finally meeting you. And uh, all the best of the greetings to all the other girls and uh, to the other witches. And uh, see you soon in France, Mexico, who knows? Yeah, see you in Mexico, Miss Hati. I mean, you look wonderful. Thank you. You and... look even hotter. <laughs> you, you He's so amazing. sexy. You're hot. You're you hot. too, girl. You too are. You're fucking I'm amazing. So You're... <laughs> You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Thank you so much. We're all beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we all women, we are beautiful. Enjoy this beautiful day <laughs> and uh, good luck with all the other interviews because I guess there are a lot right now. Uh, I guess not much today. 